So why does a GPS satellite clock tick faster than the clock in your pocket, even though the satellite is moving at thousands of kilometers per hour? If engineers ignored that mismatch, your phone's location would drift by about 10 kilometers every day. Two identical atomic clocks can separate, reunite, and disagree about how much time passed without either clock being broken. A clock is any system that repeats reliably, like a swinging pendulum or in an atomic clock, an electron and cesium flipping between two energy states. Relativity, confirmed by experiments, says those repetitions don't have a single universal rate. Speed can slow a clock, gravity can speed it up or slow it down, and GPS sits right at that collision. Gravity is a difference in clock rates from place to place, which is not what a simple pulling force suggests. Einstein's equivalence principle says a small sealed lab cannot tell the difference between standing on Earth and riding in a rocket accelerating in deep space. In that rocket, a laser pulse sent from the floor to the ceiling is received with a lower frequency, fewer wave crests per second, because the ceiling is moving away by the time the light arrives. That is the Doppler effect. The equivalence principle, therefore, predicts a similar frequency drop for light climbing upward through a gravitational field, called gravitational redshift. Because atomic clocks are built by counting electromagnetic cycles, gravitational redshift is a direct clue that 